Hello traders, Jonathan here from ForexSchoolOnline.com. Today I want to discuss a trade that I played last week on the 4 hour time frame of the Euro New Zealand dollar. I managed to get stopped out of break even on this one, so no great big winners, but I was looking for a big kill on this trade, and it wasn't to be in this case, but for, if I get a break even, I, I put them in the winners column. Because if I've managed to put on a trade, I've given my trade a great chance to make me some money, and I haven't lost a cent, I've been stopped at break even, that's as good enough as a win for me. As long as I've protected my capital, and I live to, to trade another day, you know, that's, that's, that's a win to me, okay? I so easily, so easily could have been stopped out, or possibly made a loss on this trade, so if I'm smart enough to have protected my capital and not been stopped out, that's, that's a good trade, okay? The setup I'm talking about is the large pin bar reversal up the top of the chart here. It's a very obvious and large signal, and anyone that's been trading and watching, watching myself trade for a while knows that I love the very large and obvious pins or engulfing bars that just stick out and they just knock you right in the face. You know, they're the first thing you notice, and this one does, and this looked like a great setup to me. Okay, if we we jump back to the daily chart, we'll notice that this formed at a pretty good area. You know, it's we've got this previous support, previous support, a bit more support, price has broken through, come back up, retested. If we go back to the four hour chart, that old support has turned into new resistance and that's where this pin bar is formed, at this new resistance. Okay, so all I simply did was set an order to sell short at the break of the pin. I put a stop above the 70% level of the pin bar and my order was filled the next period. Okay. I then looked for levels that price might possibly turn around on me. Okay. So I looked for an area that was going to be possibly the first area, the first area of support. And that looked to me to be this area here because we've got these candle bottoms or these bar bottoms that are acting as support. Okay, so what happened when price broke lower and got to here, got to this level, all I simply did was move my whole position to break even. Now there's a couple of options, there's, there's three options traders you know, could have chose to do. They could have a, moved their whole position to break even, which is what I, I've done. They could have, you know, they could have taken full profit. They could have, you know, taken 50% profit and let the rest run. Or I guess they, it's not really the smartest option. It's not one of the options I would even consider. They could have done nothing at all and just left their stop. But hey, I guess that is an option for some. But like I said, I moved my whole position to break even. Now, if we just have a look at this level, it turns out that it was pretty important. Okay, it acted as support, and it we did bounce, and we acted as support, and it did bounce, and you know we bounced up, and my entry was here, and I did get taken out of break even. Okay, and who knows what might happen from now? We might go lower, and it might turn into that big winner that I might have had. But you know. The amount of times that I've been stopped to break even, and that that stopped me from not having a, a loss, is is a lot of times. You know, it saved me so much money. It, it's just so worth protecting capital. If you don't have capital, you can't trade. Okay, capital is number one. You must protect it at all times. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you'd like to learn anything more about price action, or jump on over to Forex School Online. I look forward to talking to you soon.